Miss Coast Shell Dogs, the Bourne Book built for Theme Park News, and welcome to my first trip since February. Now, the last trip that we guys did, we went to the new War of the Roses show over at York Dungeon. Today, we're here at York's Wildlife Park because, as you all know, Doncaster is in tier three, so I can't exactly go anywhere outside of the area. So, I'm going to check out all the exhibits, get you guys some footage, and uh, also give you a bit of a trip review when I get back to the studio after this vlog. So, before we get started, guys, and show you all the footage, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this beautiful park. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and nearly half a million views, which is unbelievable. Thank you guys and keep watching the old videos for your support. And for now, let's get around York's Wildlife Park here in October 2020. The spectacular trip is about to get wild. Now we're here at Project Polar. This is one of the major developments a few years ago for Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Now you're probably thinking for someone who doesn't know a lot about zoos, why are the polar bears surrounded by ice and snow? Well actually to be fair, even though the polar bears like to use the ice as a hunting ground for baby seals, they like to raise their cubs all year round without ice as well. So Yorkshire Wildlife Park have been very, very clever to work around the ice situation, of course, with the climate change situation around the world. Uh, but that was just a little interesting polar fact, as I like to call it. But uh, let's get around the rest of the exhibits, because I love what's been going on here. So what bridge I'm standing on right now, you ask? Well, I'm on the brand new Himalayan Pass for 2020. A lot of animals right ahead of you as far as the eye can see. Some smooth-coated otter, some red pandas, some spotted hyena and some gelada all beyond this bridge. Let's check out the brand new Himalayan Pass for the 2020 season and let's see how good this amazing looking land really is. Let's go. Well, here in this brand new area, there's loads of animals for you to experience. For example, you can go up right here to the Simeon Mountains to experience the gelada monkeys. And don't forget, that is not the only animal you can experience because if you follow me this way, we have the hyenas of Harar. Now, of course, there's loads of different animals to experience in this brand new area and all with their own story to tell. So I thought since we finished at the Himalayan Pass, I thought we'd catch up with one of the zookeepers that works here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park to ask him a few questions about this Himalayan Pass and uh, about the giraffes and the rhinos and how they're kept and uh, everything you guys might be desperate to know. So uh, thank you very much for answering some questions today. No, it's all right. My pleasure. Um, so the first question really is uh, about the Himalayan Pass. I mean, you know, it looks amazing by the way. So. Um, you know, how, how all the animals kept because it's a very, it's like the lion country, it's a very outspread new area. So yeah, so yeah. How they're kept individually and... Uh, well, they're all kept together, luckily enough. So the red pandas are all sisters, so they all came together, so they're all ready together, which was lucky for us, we didn't have to do any introducing or anything like that. So they actually came all together, so we just plonked them in, and they kept inside for a bit, just to kind of get used to their new enclosure, and then we let them out, and they loved it, um, and they loved it ever since. We put into two separate little enclosures, next to each other, so we could see each other, um, and then they were introduced slowly, and they kind of fell in love with it break together so they've been together ever since and they're doing really well and hopefully in the future they'll uh, breed and we'll have some babies which will be lovely um, but yeah they're doing all right yeah really excited to hear about that and uh, obviously you keep the giraffes and the rhinos don't you i do yeah i'm a rooster keeper i want to know more about yeah that. yeah so giraffes and black rhinos that we have here are all browsers so that's just eat trees so they're browsing animals so all they do is eat trees daily 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 Giraffe eat in the wild for about 21 hours a day. That's all they do. They're basically just long-necked cows. 
uh, I love just eating their trees. So my routine is come in, clean them out. Hard, it is hard work who stop peeping. Um, clean them out, uh, get it all nice and spit and spam for them. But we also make, we pull as many trees as we can, uh, we can possibly get. So we pull up uh, maybe three, four in the morning, big winches high up so obviously they can reach it. Um, for the rhinos, we just lock them in the ground or, you know, it's, mix it up a bit make it a bit different on the day to day and then we clean them then we go out and get the brows for the for the later and for the morning and um, so that's usually me driving a trailer cutting down a lot of trees um, and then bring them back and then feed them in the afternoon and again just trees 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 that's what it seems like uh, a lot of the time so yeah that's, that's basically it um final question then about the whole park really i mean this park's been expanding a lot recently and we've got a lot of expansion i'm sure coming up in the future so uh, I mean, you must be really pleased with how Yorkshire Wildlife Park came from when it started as taking over this this farm, this small farm back in 2009. It's, it's come about a lot in recent years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 11 years. So, uh, I mean, to put it in perspective, uh, Chester Zoo is open 70 years, I think, though. And um, we're already getting to the, 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 the capacity of Chester Zoo and we're getting um, a massive amount of numbers just as much as any other huge collection uh, in the UK. So we're doing great and uh, it's great that we've we're not stopping either. Um, you can see the expansion when you went up to Himalayas and that's brand new. It's getting even bigger and even bigger and who knows, give it another 11 years, we'll be absolutely massive, which is fantastic because we can get more species in, do a lot more conservation and just a lot more education, it'll be great. So some wonderful questions there from our lovely keeper that takes care of the giraffes and the rhinos. I think it's time now to get some more footage from the rest of the brilliant Yorkshire Wildlife Park. So right now we're in the Wallaby walkabout section. This has been here for a very, very long time. And you're probably sitting there thinking, well, what do wallabies eat and where do they come from? Well, their natural habitat is actually in the coastal forests and scrublands of East and Southern Australia. And because they're herbivore creatures, they eat grasses, leaves, herbs, and bark. So it's a very, very healthy diet. So there's two specific type of lemur here at Lima Woods that I found very interesting the ring-tailed lemur right there, but also the red-bellied lemur, because there's a very interesting fact that I found out about that particular type of lemur. There's been a 30% decline in the last 24 years of the red-bellied lemur, and they're in endemic to Madagascar, which makes them a very rare but lovable species here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, and I'm glad they still have them here for us to view for our pleasure. So that's it from the day here at Yorks Wildlife Park. We had a look at all the amazing exhibits, including the brand new ones for 2020, the Himalayan Pass. That's the start of the expansion of this amazing wildlife park. Uh, so before we get ending in this video, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to keep subscribing and keep clicking the notification bell so you never miss any more thrilling videos. We are getting, of course, closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and half a million views in total. So thank you guys so, so much for that. We do have plenty of news updates coming over the next few weeks. So stay tuned for all of them and all your pre-recorded videos as well. 
Thank you very much, guys, for watching another vlog. My name is Coach Child. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a wildlife day. Thank <laughs> you.